Hello, it's Chrissy here. Sorry about all the schmuzzle. Um, I'm not sure who's on now, or since it's taken me about half an hour to try and work out what to do. Um, let's see. Not sure if you can see what I'm doing. Okay, hello. Finally, it's not going to be quite as much fun now. I can't see everybody. Um, I'm really sorry about the schmuzzle. I um, was trying to work out how to get into a room yes, so that I could. Um, do both i could see you or you could see me and you could see what i was doing so that didn't work but i'm here now so that's a good thing <laughs> all right i'm so sorry and i'm really sorry that um the two glenders and i don't know where they are are um not on board yet but that's okay. Um, we'll see how we go. And I'm really sorry again. Joys of technology. I've got to work out a better way to do this. <laughs> okay. So have we got our supplies? We'll just wait another minute or so and see if the two blenders come on board. Um... And go from there. Okay. Because they might be stuck in my room again. Well, I'll just message both of them. Okay, so the supplies you need, Kim. You need some Whisper White cardstock. That's five eighths of, no, sorry, five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And you score it at four and one eighths. I can see your comments, yes. Jodie, I can see you, yes. And Kim, you haven't got yours ready. Oh. You need a two and a quarter inch circle. Oh, thank you for sending them the link, Kim. Um, you need an optional piece, which is three inches by five and a half inches for the inside. Hello, Glenda. Sorry I um, messed up that room. I'll explain if um, it was me, it was my fault. I was trying to log in from two devices and then I was trying to log in as Steve and yeah, it wasn't working. Anyway, so we're just going through the supply list. So you need an optional piece for the inside if you want a piece of white to write on. So it's three inches by five and a half inches. Um, you need some scraps for stamping or die cutting images if that's what you're going to do. You need a piece of coloured cardstock that is five and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. And a two and a quarter inch circle in a different coloured coloured cardstock. You need some designer series pattern paper. Um, which is three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. And you need your ink pads and you will need a paper trimmer. Okay, so if you haven't got your paper trimmer on hand, I suggest you grab that. And I have got all of my stuff in a little basket and I'm sitting at the dining table this time, so I have my little trolley on hand so so we've got our I'll give you a moment to collect all your stuff Has there, are you stamping along Glenda 
or are you just watching today? And Jodie, are you stamping along? I think I can see comments. I think. Um. Oh, and if you have a tailored tag punch, I recommend you grab that too. And any bling or embellishments that you like. And there's a bit of a delay in the comments. You're doing other things than crafting after, but you're in your craft room. Okay. All right. Okay, I've actually got a spare piece of circle. Kim, are you ready? I'm um, the tailored tag punch. This one here. Yeah. Or any punch that you can use to make a banner. Okay? This is just what I use. You're not really. That's okay. Glenda L, are you crafting along? <laughs> I'm not winging it today. I've made this before. <laughs> Jody, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Awesome. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you've got your base card. Are you ready to go, Glenda? You probably are. You've been ready since, since before 11 o'clock. <laughs> oh. So anyway, we've got our base card. What we want to do is we want to cut off a section. Oops, I've got the wrong side of my pattern paper. Hang on, I'll turn this over. You're going to use your paper trimmer. Oops, that one doesn't have on. And you're going to cut off an inch section. So you will have, so you've scored it. And you're going to cut off this inch section and you're going to keep that inch, okay? Then... Oh, I'm not going to show you what the card looks like, um, Kim. And it's not mystery stamping, but I didn't make a sample, for goodness sake. I just said I've made it before. <laughs> card and I don't think you've made it before because I haven't made it for many many years but I thought that it would be good to make it so this little strippy bit you've got um, you're going to take your paper trimmer and you're going to score it at two inches I don't know if you can see that it's weird sitting down and crafting um, I've got stuff all over my dining table. I'll have to, because I've got paper share stuff out and everything. And you're going to get your bone folder and you're going to fold that in half. Now, this is going to be a lot of effort for a very simple fun fold card. And you're going to fold this bit in half as well. So you've got nice crisp. Well, not in half, but so it's got a little flappy thing. You got nice crisp folds. Yeah. That was a bit of a slurred crisp. Now I'm doing black and white with mine today. And if I can find my piece of paper. You're kidding me. After all that, my piece of pattern paper has disappeared. Luckily, it's right here on the table. I've got a whole pack. So this is one of the most simple fun fold cards that you can make. So I'm using and I'm going to have to cut this piece down. I'm using the All Together paper. And um, 
just going to cut down my DSP. My paper might be a bit smaller than it's supposed to be. It should be three inches. See, this one's a little bit smaller, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to adjust because that's what you have to do. So my paper was supposed to be three and three quarters. That can't be right. Well, might have been two and three quarters. Let me just double check that. If this you might have to cut your paper too, Blender. The ruler is gone. So this bit here, what you want to do is make sure your paper is quarter of an inch shorter. So really it should be three inches, not three and three quarter inches. But you can use that other strip. So you're going to cut off your paper so it's three inches wide by five and a quarter. Oh, sorry, five and a half. Does that make sense, Glenda? So your paper needs to be three inches wide by five and a half tall. I do love monochrome cards. Okay. And mine's just... Mine will have a slightly bigger um, gap around it because I'm using a piece that's on the table. What a morning, hey? I reckon that those rooms are great for if you're just going to chat. So you're going to stick this piece on. Okay, so does that make sense, Glenda? I'll have to adjust the measurements. So that'll be three by five and a half. Okay. Just stuck that on. How's everyone's morning been? Have you got your coffee? I've got my coffee and look, Jodie, it's in a flamingo cup. I don't know if you can see my flamingo. I probably need another six of these. Gonda, I can't see if you're commenting. Oh, you've done that bit. Awesome. Ah, oh, you're so well trained. <laughs> okay. So the next thing is, if you're using your white piece, and again, this is going to need a bit of trimming as well. You're going to trim that down so it is five and a quarter by three. This is what happens when you don't double check your measurements. Okay, so you're just going to trim that down a bit. And you're going to stick that. We're not going to stick it inside yet. What we are going to do is just make sure it's the right distance so you can make it whatever size that you like. And you may want to make it a bit narrower. So you may want to make it the same size as your DSP. So, so Jodie, I probably am winging it today. I didn't think I was, but I am. Oh, dear. And Kim told me before that um, she's really glad I'm making all these mistakes so she can learn from it. Isn't that lovely of her? I'm glad I could be of help. <laughs> Oh, no, Kim, your computer died. Well, you can watch it from your phone. Yeah. So, yeah. I can see you there, Glenda. Okay. So, we've got this piece here. 
and yeah, I know it's it's not funny, Jodie. <laughs> no, it's not funny. Okay, so we've got our this little piece here, a little strip. So we've got all our other pieces. We'll just put them aside for a second. So what we want to do is get our tailored tag punch or whatever punch you're using. And I'm just going to stick that in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see this properly. I might have to hold it closer to the camera. And see, I'm making it so... I might have to stand up to do this bit. Making it so that it makes like a little banner. Much easier. Ooh. I've got the wobbles. It's the speed wobbles. Trying to get it straight. So, we have our little banner. It is easier than scissors when you don't have speed wobbles. <sighs> There's never a bad mistake. Oh, I make lots of them, trust me. Okay. So what we're going to do is with our coloured piece is we are going to put some adhesive. Oh, that didn't work. <sighs> Lucky that's the back. For some reason, the black one always does this to me. I put some use glue, hey? Does anyone else find that the black cardstock when it's humid it just rips? So using glue because it's all about being apparently able to pivot. So yeah, if I hear that one more time, I think I'm gonna scream. Oh yeah, so we're all about being able to pivot. And we're going to put some adhesive on the back of this one. Okay, just on this little, the back of this little tag bit here. Okay. So, Kim, do you remember any of this card so far? It's been a long time since I've done one of these. <laughs> yeah. I hate the word pivot. <laughs> I used to like it, but now I don't. So I'm using my grid paper. So I'm going to go about um, maybe one and a half inches up from the bottom. So I'm sticking the non-glue side onto the back of my um, piece of black. Oops. How about I put this in the right place? So I'm putting it, it'll be one and a bit inches up from the bottom. I'll just move it up a bit. Because that's not one and a bit inches. So when I flip it over, it'll look like this. Does that make sense, Glenda? That doesn't make sense at all. Okay, what do you mean no, Kim? So, I've got some, or were you talking about the black tearing? I've got my glue here and I've stuck this onto the back and I've flipped it over and I'm going to flip that onto the inside of my card so that this little, Got to make sure you don't have glue on your fingers. This little bit here is um, tucked underneath. Oh, you don't remember. Okay. All right. And I'm not worried about the glue that I've got on the ends here because they're going to um, come off. I'll use my eraser and get that glue off. Just need to get the glue off my hands. 
Yeah. What are you making, Jodie? You said you're doing something else in your craft room. Yeah, so we've got that bit. Now, if you want to put your piece of white on, you can put that on now. Okay. I found that when it's humid, all my paper, all the edges tear when I'm trying to cut it, and it doesn't matter what cutter I use. It's... um. Yeah, it just drives me a bit nuts. And so I'm making sure that my paper, when I put it on... Oh, you're making front covers of A5 books for friends. Oh, I'm glad that makes sense, Glenda, because I was trying to think of an easy way to... Um, um, explain it. So, when you stick your white piece on, if you're using it, like you might not want to put a white piece on the inside. It'll be the same distance from the top, the left, and the bottom. Okay, and you'll have that gap. All right? So, I'm just going to put that aside for a second, and we're going to grab our circle. Are we in... Oh, sorry, Glenda. Are we in the same place? I tend to race. Sounds really good. You'll have to send me some photos, Jody, of what you're making. Now, I'm using the Island Vibes Celebration Stamp Set. And I'm also using the Special Moments Set. Maybe, I was thinking, oops, sorry, I'll move it down a bit. Maybe we should do a craft room tonight, but not a demo, just a chat. Oh, thank you. That'd be great, Jodie. I'd love to see what people make. Are you, will you be crafting today, Kim? Glenda, just let me know when you're up to stamping. Now, I've got lots of stuff over my table. Oh, I have to show you. I was playing with the ladybird. Yeah, you're probably not because Brad is here. Oh, that's no good. Well, it's good that Brad is there, but it's no good that he interrupts the stamping time. Steve doesn't interrupt mine. He's happy that I was stamping. I have to show you this card, though. Oh, the hobby store. I didn't know there was a hobby store at Underwood. Oh, is that... Oh. Yes, that's true. He could join you in stamping, Kim. So this is my little card that I, my Easter card that I made with. Um, so I'm really proud of, except I don't have any Easter sentiments. I know there are some in the mini catalogue. I'm just waiting to see that. Yeah, I know he's only there on weekends. I still ignore Steve when he's only here on weekends. <laughs> um, and so this is my little Easter bunny made out of the um, ladybird punch and the um, daisy punch. So I think that it's so cute and then a cloud punch as well. So I thought it was pretty cute. So I need to get a happy Easter stamp to pop on it. And I'm just waiting to see if the stamp set that has happy Easter in it that I like is um, carrying over to the new catalogue. I do love the bunny, and I love that the um, when you heat the embossing um, paste, that it fluffs up. I 
could just print a sentiment, Kim, but I'm supposed to use stamping up stuff because I am a demonstrator, you know. <laughs> okay, let's do our stamping. So I am, I'm actually using markers to colour my little tree. And I'm using the um, Granny Apple Green. This is the days like this when I think I really need that um, um, Lucky Limeade colour back again. That was such a vibrant, pretty colour. I use that a lot. I'm so glad that when I did my little poll that people said they liked brights because that gave me an opportunity to make lots of things using bright colours. Yeah, I'm just colouring with my markers and I probably should be using my Stamparatus to do this in case it's not dark enough. But I can tell you that's not on my dining table, that's still on the kitchen bench from last night. So I'm stamping mine over to one side and it just fits. I hope you're not looking at the top of my head here. Just fits. There we go. So I've stamped my little tree. And then because I'm using black and white predominantly on my card. I am going to get my Memento Black ink and a little sentiment from the Special Moments set. And I'm going to choose one that I haven't used yet. Let's see. Oh, there we go. And because I am a bit quirky, I'm going to use the I have something for you. And stamp that. And I'm going to partially stamp it over my um, image. Oh, I forgot to ask, what's it like in Adelaide today, Jody? Is it nice? You can, I'm going to be asking you for regular updates on our trip down to South Australia, you know. You and um, Shani are going to be sick of me saying, how cold is it? How cold is it? And I thought, I have something for you. So I've sort of still done it in the middle, but I've done it over the sentiment, over the image. Then I'm going to stamp the inside of my card with the other part of that um, thing. And it says, where is it? Says you're holding it and I'm stamping that on the inside because I'm being a bit cheeky. I'm giving this to um, one of my girlfriends. It's beautiful today. Oh, that's so good. I like it when it's beautiful days. It's very cloudy here. I don't know if it's cloudy over in your suburb, Kim, but it's awfully cloudy. 
I said it was going to rain all weekend, but I'm thankful. Well, they've said it's going to rain every day so far this week, but I'm very, very thankful it has held up off. Is it still raining up where you are, um, Glenda? Are you all ready? Okay, so I'm holding up the... Um, let's pop this in the middle. Okay. Okay. So that's the, the inside of my card. What we're going to do now is I'm going to stick my green. And if you wanted to have another circle layer as well, you could. I probably would like to do that, but. I'm going to stick that on with dimensionals. It's cloudy where you are, Kim. Yeah. Don't like it when it's cloudy all the time. It's like in winter, I get really down because we have lots, often have lots of cloudy days. If I get a week of clouds, I'm a bit of a mess, really. So now, when you've attached these two pieces, and as I said, this is a really simple card, but it's still a fun fold, and people love it because they um, get to be interactive with it. So now how, what I would normally do is use some extra strong adhesive. So. Do you know how, which way your thing is going? You're going to put it across the centre or you can go, okay, I want to put it about in that centre bit there, but you can put it wherever you like along this little line and I'm going to use some extra strong adhesive. See, it didn't um, rip off my white adhesive it's just my black that uh, my white cardstock just my black I don't know why it does that maybe the black has got more moisture in it or something so there we go that's the start of our little card and it's I think it's a nice card you can make lots of them quite quickly and I'm gonna grab my bling folder I've spent ages organising my bling. And I want to put a little butterfly in my tree. Just one. So I've got my... My bling actually doesn't all fit in one folder. It, I have two folders. And I think it also needs some little matte dots. So one of my folders is all my um, mini catalog stuff and the retired stuff or stuff from kits stuff. I mean, embellishments from kits. Uh, 28 already. I don't know what temperature it is here. I should ask Steve to look that up for me. But he's just looked at me and shook his head. So I guess that's a no. Yeah, we've had some pretty hideous days. And it's pretty bad when you have tradies and they work several jobs and then they turn up 
after doing another job for four or five hours and it's sort of a little bit stinky so and you can't and they're so nice and you can't feel like you can say anything <laughs> I do love these dots too. I feel so organised having all of these um, things in place. And you wouldn't guess how much retired stuff I still have. But it's nice to have it so you can see it and all my non-stamping up stuff. Um, I like being able to see it really easily like some of these embellishments are so old these were out I think before not the last um, catalog refresh uh, color refresh but the one before that that were the best little embellishments because they're enamel but yes I really like my little folder of things. I have to get some more sleeves off Amazon. But the only thing is my binder's only a two ring one, so I had to punch a little extra holes in. But yes, so I digress. How are you going? I wear a mask around the tradies. Well, um, I don't think that stops the smell, tradies. They all have to have, before they leave their... Um, the shop on the Gold Coast, they all have to have a rat test and um, yeah, so that to make sure that they're negative and even their contractors, they have to call in to the, um, the subcontractors, they have to call into the showroom and do a rat test before they come. And it's an hour from their showroom to our house. <laughs> So yeah, so this is their little card. What do you think of that one? Glenda, do you like it? I think, Joanie, I'd probably have to wear a peg on my nose. That sounds awful, because they're such nice guys. They really are. It's a really easy card, isn't it? And there's not a lot of wastage. And if you are using just a three, if you're using a three inch um, wide piece of DSP, you can get um, two cards out of a sheet of DSP. So you're not having a lot of wastage. And the little strips, you, if you wanted to, you could put them on the inside. <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> Chrissy. <laughs> Yes, a pig. <laughs> so I'm, I might refilm this um, again and um, have the correct colours. Yeah, I do like the monochrome, but I also like the proper colour, um, Jody. I think the proper colour is really nice. And I need to find my eraser so I can rub off the um dried off ink oh there it is and i love that you can just use a plain white eraser none of this you don't have to buy a what do they call it a sand eraser or anything like a adhesive eraser and it just comes off it has to be dry but it makes it a lot easier You love it? Oh, that's good. So, are we going to make one of these today or this weekend? Well, Glenda, you've already made one, but I'd like to see you make another one. Oh, where are we going to put the cards when we're done? Well, you could put it in the comments or you could post it in the group. Yeah. And how about we um, do a little prize draw, hey? 
let's see, I forgot to write everybody's names down and put them in my little shopping basket. little shopping trolley you put your cut strip on the right hand side of the black piece ah yeah that'd be good underneath the flippy thing what do you call that it's like a buckle isn't it um yes it's a little rose gold one from Kmart I've had it for years, and so we've got Glenda, we've got Jodie, and we've got Kim. Okay. Let's see who we've got here. But Glenda. So Glenda, I am going to send you in the post some embellishments from the new Waves of the Ocean suite. So these are the embellishments that I will be sending you. So congratulations and thank you for joining in. The oh. so Glenda L. Not Glenda S. <laughs> oh, Glenda S, you've just joined. Oh, goodness me. We're just finishing up. I'm so sorry that I messed everything up with our chat. As I was explaining to our crafty friends before, I was trying to um, put things together. Uh, I was trying to access it from two devices. So I wanted to um, see your faces and craft it show you what I was making at the same time so you put your uh, Glenda L so you put your piece here that's a good idea too yeah I like that yeah. I would have I was just going to put my scraps on the envelope or like a little strip across the bottom I would put it let's um you could put that down here or even the reverse side actually let's do that i think that looks quite cute so still working on my card so you haven't finished it all yet glenda yes thank you for coming and yeah So, at least we'll be able to, people will be able to watch this on replay. So we made a few adjustments to the, um, the measurements and I'll put up the new measurements. Um, I'll repost those. Oh, I've got glue there too. So, even though I wasn't completely winging it, I did wing it a little bit just for Jodie because she loves it. Yeah, it might be my my thing. But I had all of my stuff on the table. I was pretty... Yeah, just press it, private message me your address, Glenda. And I don't have it yet. So I'm going to post that. Do you have these yet? I think they're beautiful. I think they're so lovely. The small off cut piece, yes. So the, the bit from the bottom. 
So, yeah, so that's our card for today, and we're going to, um, this afternoon I'm going to do, and it's a Facebook Live, a mini catalogue tour, but it won't be, like, for two hours or whatever, it will be, um, a short one. They are one of my favourite, I hope, I don't think, I don't think they're keeping these in the new catalogue, I don't remember. I know they're not keeping the paper, but these are beautiful. And I love that paper. It's um it's just so stunning. And yeah, there are lots of options for this card. Yes, Glenda. I like it too. Like you could um the fact that it's not too overwhelming. I might put some white dots down there too. I'm still thinking about it while I'm talking. No, they're only well stops last. I can't wait to see the new caddy. Oh. Couple more weeks. Oh. That would be so good. But I've got to still use all my things in my old caddy first. Because um Yes, I have a few things, but I have less than 20 that I um, haven't used now. So I'm doing well. I think I've got 18. I'm down to 18. I'll put this one here. This one over here. So I spend a lot of time just playing and going, oh. I want to um, this over here. So there we go. So that is the end of my card. Yeah, <laughs> I've years of cutty, cutty stuff not used. Well, I got myself a um, business coach, and so she's taken. Four years to get me to the point of I'm not buying something that I can't use in more than five ways. And um, I'm not, um, I'm supposed to be able to use everything, every stamp I'm supposed to be able to use ten ways. But we've made a um, bit of a truce and it's um, five <laughs> because some of them are really hard to use 10 different ways and um, yeah so that's why I have this goal to make sure that when I use it and I've got it usually I um, try to use everything within the first 80 days of, and if I haven't used it within the first 80 days of owning it, I will send it back to Stamping Up because I'm not likely to use it and um, get it, exchange it for um, something that I will use. So, yeah. Um, but, yes, I do have stuff that I haven't used yet. So, that's my... But it's, a, it's sort of a good strategy for me because then I'm not just buying everything emotionally because I would be an emotional spender. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, there we go. There's a card. And I should let you all get on with your day. And thank you so much for spending some... Um, my disorganised morning with you. Yeah, it wasn't disorganised. I was already. I just couldn't work out the technology. Um, a lot of my stuff, Glendale, I um, did get rid of. I've got a box of wood mount stamps to get rid of, and I'm practically giving it away. But um, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I can be entertaining, Jodie. <laughs> uh, it's nice to be able to feel entertaining. <laughs> All right, 
so everybody you have a lovely day enjoy um the rest of your day i hope i'll see some of you on our cat mini catalog tour and if not maybe i'll see you for our q a at about four o'clock or tomorrow morning so tomorrow morning one of my favorite projects and i think you're gonna love it so yeah Oh, Glenda, yes, you can send things back. So as long as you haven't opened it or used it in 90 days, you can send it back. So that's why I used my um, cutoff was 80 days. You'd have to exchange it though. You can't get a refund. But that's okay. You always need white cardstock and um, yeah. So tomorrow morning, what time? I don't know, Kim. You're going to have to look at the events. I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's 10 my time, Queensland time, but could be wrong. So no sleeping in. <laughs> um, check with the events. I'm pretty sure it's 10. Okay. Until next time, happy creating. Bye for now.